three points, 62 here. So that's to find the mesh current I1, I2, and I3 in the network of figure. So it's already drawn out for you. Uh, it's very easy. That's nice. And remember, uh, if meshes that shares is a uh, one, uh, the, the co a common uh, circuit source, I mean uh, a current source, then you combine the two into a, both into a super mesh. And then so here's two of two of the super meshes. And if that happens, then you combine both of them. And which means you're going to form a, well, you're going to form a, uh, the whole thing, right? This whole thing is going to become one super mesh. Okay. Fantastic. So that is going to be one equation, right? Okay. So I, let's say I, that's right. I super. Yes, I am super. <laughs> anyway, um, Let's start it and uh, start applying Khrushchev current law, right? So starting from top right corner, we have plus 40 V and uh, go to the bottom, skip all of these. And then so negative 100 V plus 4 K times I1 plus 8 K times I2 and then plus 2 K times I3. Okay, and this whole thing gives you zero. All right, simplify. So negative 60. So it goes here to positive 60. And then I1, so 4K, I1 plus 8K, I2 plus 2K, I3 is going to give us 60. Or you can simplify this, divide it by 2 by both sides. It's going to be 2K, I1 plus 4K, I2 plus 1K, I3. This whole thing gives you 30 volts. Okay, so there's one, and we're looking for three things. I1, I2, and I3. Okay, let's write it over here. I1 equals, I2 equals, and I3 equals. Okay, we're looking for these three answers, and we only have one equation, and that is not enough. Okay, and but this is the only mesh system that we can do. So what we do, what we do instead, is we start using the other very powerful law, which is Khrushchev current law right and we'll look at nodes where there is a circuit source so i usually look at this one so let's say nod i would say nod a and nod b you can use this one up here too but i just like this one and then you know there's no resistors it's just simpler it's, uh, more clear to see and i chose this nod because this nod has a uh, a circuit source i mean current source directly with it, right? So using Khrushchev current law, right? The amount of current going into a knot equals the amount of current exiting the knot. So I1, if we look at I1, right? I1 is doing clockwise rotation. All of them does. So it's going this, this, and this, right? So from here, and we're going, we're looking at this. Okay, so it's exiting, right? It's it's turning left. So I1 is exiting, and so is this. Right, so is plus four MA. Right, so is the four milliampere is exiting, and so I two obviously I two is also is doing this right up, uh, right down and uh, left. Right, so you look at I two over here. Left is going into the knot, so therefore it equals I two, or you can just say I one minus I two uh, equals negative four MA. Right. Okay. Next thing. Uh, this one over here. Right. This one. So I2, boom, boom, boom. And in this case, it's to the right. So it's leaving B. Right. Oh, sorry. Let me let me write at A. And then we're applying Khrushchev current law at not B. Okay. Simpler. So I2 is exiting. I'm just going to use, wait, let's use a green one just for uniformity. I2 is leaving. I So this current source, this dependent source is entering. And I3, you know, it's da, 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 da. It's going to the left. It's entering B, right? So both the uh, 2I1, so 2I1 plus I3 is all entering the location right it's entering that okay perfect 
Um, we have a relationship of I, I2 over here, right? So we can uh, plug in. Let's see what can we do. Okay, so we can do, all right, so let's plug I2 in here first, right? To get rid of the, um, let's use a different color for clarifications. So this equation that we'd obtain, right? And then we're gonna enter it to here, okay? That way, it's gonna become I1 plus four milli, four milli ampere equals two I1 plus I3. Okay, so now everything is in terms of I1 plus I3 is give us four ampere, four milliamperes. Okay, or we can say four, so four milliamperes minus I1 uh, give us I3. Okay, so now we have a uh, equation of I3 in terms of I1, and we have I2 inside I1. Perfect. Now we plug into here this equation and then we plug this one into here right and this way it's going to help us find everything fantastic so now i will say 2k1 sorry 2k i1 right plus 4 times i 4k sorry 4k times i2 now what is i2 i2 is times i1 plus 4 milliamps right this whole thing and then say plus 1k times i3 what is i3 uh, 4 milliamps minus i1 right and uh, it's gonna give us 30 volts okay so all right great let's simplify things to find what i1 is so 2k I1 plus 4K I1 plus, uh, so K and milliamps. Those are all 10 to the power of, this is 10 to the power of negative three, this is 10 to the power of three, so this cancels out. So it's just four ohms times four ampere, that's 16 volts plus one. So this here again, right, that's four volts and then minus 1K I1 equals 30. Okay, so minus 20 both sides, uh, it's going to give us 10 volts, and this is, so 2, 6, minus 1, so 5K I1, and divided by 5K both sides, it's going to give us 2 milliamperes, right, and that is I1. Okay, now we obtained what I1 is, uh, we can, now we should obtain what I1 is, we can apply it back to here and uh, back to here to obtain I2 and I, I3, all right? So I'm gonna write it directly beneath it. So I1 is two milliampere plus four milliamperes, gives you I2 and I2 is six milliampere, all right? So I1 is two milliamperes, I, I2 is six milliamperes, and then you add two milliamperes in here, so four milliamperes minus two milliamperes, this is gonna give you another two milliamperes, right? Which is two milliamps. Okay, and this is how you solve uh, this whole equation. And before you go, um, there's a different way, so I'm just gonna do it, uh, show it to you guys. This is, I think the only video I'm gonna include both methods is that you can also use matrices, right? So since here we have, so if we, uh, treat I1, I2, and I3 as X, Y, Z, then we can totally use a matrix, right? So we use a matrix of, so negative, so 2K, right, 4K, and 1K, all right? I1, I2, and I3 equals, well, this is 30, right? And then what's the next equation that we obtained over here? So I1, uh, so I1, so 1K, Right, and uh, minus, minus, so here's another I2, so minus 1K, and then this is give us neg and, and zero because there's no I3, and equals negative four. Okay, negative 40, is it? Yeah, it's just negative four. Okay, and then, 
Wait, actually, can you do that? Um, I guess. And then, let's see, the next thing is negative 2, uh, 1, and negative 1, right? This is the this equation that we obtained, right? So I2, I1, and I3. So you, so it's 1 minus I2 minus I3, right? Oh, sorry, so 2 minus I2 minus I1, and then a 2, okay? So this one over here, and this whole thing gives you 0. And remember, this is milliamps. Right, and this is all the k this is all k's kilo ohms. Okay. And in the end, if you solve uh with your calculator, uh you should get I one equals two MA and then I two is six MA or uh, I three is two MA. Okay. And in the end the calculator should show you like two times ten to the power of negative three. Uh, 0, 0, 0, 6 times 10 to the power of negative 3, 0, 0, and then 0, 2 times 10 to the power of negative 3, I1, I2, I3, equals, you know, whatever it's in here, right? So you know I1 is this, I2 is this, I3 is this. Okay, because 10 to the power of negative, right, because you put a thousand in there, or you can just say put one, to, you know, without putting the thousands and just remember times it's milliamps, right? Instead of two amps, it's two milliamps. Okay, cool. Hopefully, uh, this was helpful. Both of the methods are, are acceptable. Um, it depends whether you are allowed to use a calculator during the exam. I hope you do. Uh, when you do, definitely use it. It's a lot easier, a lot quicker than you have to solve it by hands, right? Because you can make so many arithmetic mistakes and then just, and then you, you're, you're effed from there, basically. So yeah, this is uh, good stuff. Right, both messes, hopefully you're able to at least master one of them and be able to use it. And uh, yeah, hopefully this was helpful. Good luck on your studies. I'll see you in my future videos. Bye.